Now mechanics are supposed to be the people who make cars, not need tow trucks. And this car here belongs to our friend Gavin, who's a very talented mechanic. What's up? So what major breakdown led to him having to abandon his car here and hike down a dark highway in the middle of the night trying to find cell service to call for a ride? Come on, Gavin! A flat tire, really? Killing me. I mean, yes, that is an impressive flat, but seriously, you're a mechanic. You don't have a spare tire? Come on. So we're about halfway between Warm Springs and Government Camp, Oregon, and anyone even remotely familiar with this area knows that that is a long way from anything or even cell service in any direction. So Gavin was coming back from who knows where doing who knows what uh, late last night. Tire like completely disintegrated on him and he got stranded right here in the middle. I mean that's not like exactly exactly the middle but come on that's pretty close. So it was late late last night when Gavin's tire exploded there and uh, he finally got a ride into Warm Springs about 2 30 this morning when he messaged me uh, but he already had his wife coming to get him so told me to just come get it this morning. He's back home. I'm going to get this thing on the dollies and hook to the back of my truck and we'll get it towed back to his house for him. Fair warning, there's a lot of traffic on this road so you can expect this noise the whole rest of the video. I'm pretty sure it took me about four or five hours it felt like to film that little intro clip you just saw without this in the background the whole time. So we're going to load this up. You're going to hear that. We're gonna get this car out of here. All right, let's get the dollies out of here. All the things we're gonna need. I think that's probably the right width. Slide you under here. And that is Close enough. Get this one out. Make sure we set it to the same holes. And get it slid under two. Okay. So, with the flat tire, what we gotta do. Can you see me over there? No, you cannot. So with the flat tire, what we gotta do, especially like this where there's like no tire, is we need to set these dolly bars as close as possible. So I'm gonna get the dolly in here, set the back one on the most inside pocket I can, make sure I do the same on the other side. Now we're gonna hook up the truck to the front of the car. Okay, we're gonna open up our claws, run this thing out, all the way to get a nice low angle under the car. Get down as low as we can. Try to be centered as we can. It's not exactly center, but I think it'll be close enough. So now we'll open our claws all the way. Get a nice lift on it. So now that I know we got a good grab on it, I'm gonna set it back down some. And then bring it in as I back up, making sure I'm still clearing that front end because I need some tra back travel in that ram. And you will see why in just a sec here. Okay, that should hopefully work, let's see. So as you can see, we brought it in nice and close to the truck. And that is so we can come back here and we have room to use the remote to scoot this car back against that back dolly bar and make enough room to get in here and set this front one as tight as we can. Okay, now that we got them closed all the way up, we can bring that in a bit and settle the wheels into the dolly crossbars, use our breaker bar to pop it up. We'll do the flat side first. Flip our two little safety locks. Do the same thing on the other side. 
One more. Two more safety locks. And now we can put our stuff away, strap it down, and get ready to go down the road. So we will raise the front up, extend it back out some so we can open the tailgate. Make sure we've got good clearance underneath everything. We're not going to hit anything important. And we can get to our straps. So hook to the backside on the L arm over the tire and to the outside on the crossbar. Couple ratchets, tuck the tail in and take your slack, tuck it through, lock your bar down and everything's solid. Same thing on the back end. We just loop around this to hold it all in place. Tighten up our ratchet. And this setup is not super ideal, but that'll hold. And we put our magnet lights on. Put the same straps on the other side of the car, and we're good to go. Okay, safety's on, front strap's on, dolly strap's on, magnet light's on, which means we have to head back south. We got about a couple hour drive or so to get this back to Gavin's house so he can hopefully change a tire. And uh, more importantly, we gotta go find somewhere to get lunch along the way. And we are off. Uh, I think uh, we're gonna head back down to Madras, try to find some food there. Uh, one of the best restaurants in town is the Chevron Station with the good chicken, so we're going to head there and uh, get some chicken and a milkshake and then keep heading south to Gavin's house. But in the meantime, look at these beautiful views we get to enjoy without that big old stupid gauge thing sitting right there in my windshield. Uh, this eye dash thing for banks that goes in the pillar, a million times better. And no, I did not get paid to say that. Alright, stopped and got our lunch. Uh, chicken and honey butter biscuit with a peanut butter cup milkshake. So now we can get headed back to Gavin's house and go give him a bunch of crap for not having a spare tire. Well, two hours and an entirely different climate later, we are almost to our destination. Gavin. What's up? You're a mechanic. Yes, I know. And you were defeated by a flat tire. So, apparently... Toyota decided on these hybrids, they do not give you a spare tire. They give you a can of fix-a-flat, a little compressor you can plug into a battery or, or a 12-volt charge port. No lug nut wrench. Yeah, no lug nut wrench, no jack. I'm like, well, no cell service. It's like, I guess we're walking. Because <laughs> I don't think anybody's going to stop here to help us unless we're at least walking down the road. Yes. So, yeah. Luckily, we uh, ran across a few individuals who were nice enough to uh, pick us up and give us a ride and try to help us out anyway good people so now we're here <laughs> yes, we're here so let's <laughs> and I have other tires and wheels <laughs> let's set it down what time did that happen 11:30 yeah somewhere 11 o'clock ish something like that it was that. like 2 30 in the morning when you messaged me yeah i know that's, that's, we, we, that's, that's about when we got signal we like <laughs> you had a long night yeah it was yeah. pretty long night by the time we got back here, it was about 4, 4 o'clock, yeah. something like that. But Casey to the rescue. Yeah. That's why you're playing hooky from work today? Shh. No, I'm off all week. Oh, yeah? Because my friend's here. Oh, this is a heck of a way to spend <laughs> This is Matt. What's up? <laughs> yeah, right? We were supposed to, well, so here's the whole thing. We were going sturgeon fishing. Oh, and uh, Oh, yeah. We, yeah. Okay, so it was worth it. <laughs> Didn't even make it. No, we were on our way there. Oh, so you didn't get to go fishing? No. No, it all uh, it all blew up in our face. You're a horrible when, when the tire went, boom! Yeah, we, we got a lot of We popped the trunk, and there's all this fix-a-flat stuff. I'm like, are you kidding me? Good luck. No, not, not even a donut tire? I'm like, yeah, right. yeah, I'm not a very good camera, man. You gotta get in here on the action. See, I do use safety straps. Yes, you Nobody do. believes me, because you can't see them under there. Just saying. 
So check this thing out. So we could pull the handles and just drop them down. I'm going to on the back one though because that's sitting on the thing. Ooh. Or you can lower it down slowly with the bar. So make sure it sits down on the block like we want. And the second one I can just pull. Fancy stuff. And these pop out. Same thing on the other side. Easy. It is. <laughs> I guess when you do it all the time. They make it easy enough a bunch of tow truck drivers can do it. Oh, it'll make it work. I think with that block on there, it'll be fine. I'll just leave it on the block. Yeah, yeah, yeah just leave the piece of wood there, it'll be perfect. Oh, yeah, it's plenty of room. Plenty. Heck yeah. Just like that. Nice and easy. I feel I feel like I should be helping you, but <laughs> So this takes me like the whole process takes me like ten minutes. If I do it by myself, it takes like twenty if somebody helps. <laughs> so he's like, yeah, yeah, I guess that's your hint. Oh well. <laughs> I'm helping. Just just like when I come help you work on stuff in the shop, it yeah. takes you twice as long. Like, uh, thanks for your help, but I got it. Yeah, you're like, I'm flat reading this job, yourself. but you go away. <laughs> awesome. You're all set. All right, we got Gavin's car dropped off with no problems, so it is just about early enough and late enough at the same time that I can go pick up Riley a little early from preschool and maybe go to the park and play for a little bit before heading home. So I'm going to go do that. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.